good afternoon friends <clears throat> we have been continuing our discussion on the novel the great gatsby we have yesterday in previous lecture completed the discussion on the characters all the major and minor characters from the novel the great gatsby so today we will be discussing about the themes and major ideas that are shown in this particular novel and then we will just analyze the structural we will make the structural analysis of the book concerned to its plot and its uh, construction of the text so so far you have already known the plot of the novel and uh, we have already discussed about the major characters and minor characters of this novel so by now you have got some idea of the themes and major key concepts from the particular um, from this particular book that is the great gatsby so obviously the first theme that you might have already guessed is the american dream so this novel is basically about the american dream its pursuit and as well as its disappointment and disillusionment so this is the major theme the most important theme which is carried right from the beginning till the end of the novel this is the american dream and how people there are lots of characters which are examples for this pursuit of american dream the main character of course that is of the uh, the great gatsby the main character is jay gatsby he is in pursuit of this american dream the lifestyle the way he is living a luxurious life the way he is throwing extravagant parties and all this he is doing just in order to impress someone so this shows it is a false pursuit it is not because he wants to be rich but he what he has become rich to show that to show to others to show someone that he is rich and he is having a luxurious lifestyle so this is what we call as false pursuit whether he really want to become rich we do, we really don't know he became rich in order to impress daisy so in this particular theme of the pursuit of american dream we have to focus upon its major stress on materialism okay so this pursuit for american dream was not something related to the personality but it was related to the external um, accessories of life for example the materials okay in this particular novel great be sorry gatsby is called as the great gatsby just because he is a rich man just because he is able to um, launch such huge parties where celebrities are coming so his status is measured only in terms of wealth he has made nobody is going to question whether gatsby is a morally correct person or a corrupt person no matter how he has earned the earned the money but he has social respect so america in the roaring 20s respected the wealthy people only not the people with good moral conduct and behaviors so this became the major uh, underline of the american dream actually it was meant to be something else american dream was meant for everyone every american to achieve freedom of personal freedom in personal life but they thought that it is only through material pleasures it is only by earning a lot of money and status they are going to get this american dream lifestyle so this is one feature that is the false pursuit of materialism that is what is shown in this particular theme of american dream and then the other important aspect related to american dream which can be found out in this particular novel is decadence now what is this decadence we have already discussed about it <clears throat> you see that lot of characters are decaying their personality their character is decaying they are becoming corrupt in order to earn money the very fact that gatsby has earned so much wealth by doing bootlegging and by doing the by participating in the organized crimes here itself we come to know the decadence that was seen in the youth of the roaring 20s and then again the parties that are being arranged there those parties are full of 
extravagance and lavish lifestyle only there is no quality stuff in those parties people come there just in order to drink wine drink alcohol and get entertainment that's all that's there is no other purpose behind this party and this very trend of organizing such lavish parties every weekend shows that these people had decayed from within that is why they did not know the other positive ways of earn, uh, earning and spending their money in into some other useful ways they only knew how to earn money and how to go and attend these extravagant parties and uh, entertain themselves so entertainment became their only objective in the life that is how we see the decadence this decadence is also found in the characters of tom and daisy when they um, indirectly they commit the murder of jay gatsby so for them their security matters not the feelings or emotions of the other person okay so decadence is seen in this way also then the material excess but no happiness so this is what we call as the disillusionment of american dream people thought in the roaring 20s they thought that material success or wealth will give them ult- utmost happiness but what happens to great what happens to jay gatsby is the clearly opposite of that he has earned a lot of money but is he really happy when organizing the huge parties is he really happy from within the answer is a big no so material excess guarantees no mental peace or happiness is a message that f scott fitzgerald wanted to give through this character and through this novel also whether daisy is really happy in her marriage she is materially very fine she is living a luxurious lifestyle with her husband tom who is very rich but is he real is she really happy with the life that she is spending with tom it's a big question mark and obviously the answer is no so material excesses jay gatsby is a big shot man in west egg part but he is not happy from within there is some lacuna in his life and he is doing only the show of his wealth just in order to get that happiness which he could have got by establishing a relationship with daisy so money or material wealth does not guarantee uh, happiness is an underlining message in this particular novel and that becomes the disillusionment of american dream people thought that oh if i achieve this american dream i will be happy but in fact many of them turned out to be depressed and sad most of the youngsters committed suicide at a very early young age most of them got themselves addicted to various uh, narcotic drugs and alcohols and some other things so this is how we see the decadence and as a result of decadence there was no happiness guaranteed by material uh, pleasures and material successes and so this is the american dream its decline and disillusionment that is shown throughout the novel i just gave you some episodes where you can find out the uh, relevance of this particular theme when you go through the text you will also find out more and more episodes where you can connect this particular theme to the text so that is one most important thing theme in this novel the second important theme that he has strikingly shown is hollowness hollowness of the humans and hollowness in their relations how a person is a hollow from within outside he is making a show that he is extremely wonderful man that he has got lots of social connections but from within is he really a full fledged man so this becomes another underlining theme a very important theme in this novel hollowness the humans in the roaring 20s who were aspiring to be uh, great and rich people in america during those times were hollow from within they were hypocrites okay whatever they showed on the outset at the outset was not their true personality okay and then hollowness in relation 
You see, for example, all of us in a person like Tom Buchanan. Tom Buchanan is a very rich man, no doubt. But from within, he is an extremely disturbed man. He is not really happy with his wife, and that's why he has a relationship with uh, Myrtle Wilson. So he is not a complete man by himself, right? So morally, he may not be a correct man. Then come to Jay Gatsby's character. Although he is the richest man in West Egg part of Long Island, he is hollow from within. He knows how he has earned that money, and he is not able to reveal the ways in which he earned so much money. And that moral decadence, that corrupt corruptness, makes him a hollow person. All right. Even when it comes to the discussion of Jordan Baker, she is also not a very um what we can say a complete woman rather she is just making a show that she is good to everyone but she also has loopholes in her personality that she is not keeping the secrets told to her in lot of confidence so here you see that these characters have some hollowness in their personality and that leads to lots of problems as well and then you find another <clears throat> related theme to hollowness is hollowness is human in humans is one thing and here another thing is hollowness in relations so the re important relations that are developed in among the characters in this novel are extremely hollow they are not based really on the feelings of heart they are not really based on the trueness of love but they are all based most of them i'm not saying all of them but most of them are based on the a uh, hollow show of of money and wealth okay if this factor of wealth is taken away from the relation the relation has no meaning for example tom and daisy are living together in a marriage just because tom is rich if tom loses his money one day daisy is going to leave him so she is not sure of her relationship with tom she is just remaining in that marriage as it is her obligation and because tom is rich in fact she loves someone else she loves jay gets be but is not even able to accept that from her heart because here she is afraid of insecurity so this shows the hollowness in the relations and then the other relation which is not very deeply rooted here is also of nick and jordan somewhere nick and jordan have attachment and attraction towards each other but they really don't develop that relation to the extent which they think that they are developing so here also the relation is baseless or it has no strong foundation and the other uh, relation that we find among the people is tom mirtle and george wilson george wilson and mirtle mirtle wilson are married but Myrtle is infidel. She has love affair, extramarital affair with Tom. That also shows the relations hollowness. So this is another theme. How this American? So the major reason for all these things is American dream, the pursuit of American dream and the pursuit of uh, materialistic happiness. So these are interconnected. Okay. So this is how we see hollowness in the relation. and another important thing when it comes to hollowness in relations is the relationship between jay gatsby and mayor bulbsham now when when uh, jay gatsby is developing friendship close friendship with our narrator nick caraway jay gatsby tells lot of good things about mayor bulbsham and tells that mayor bulbsham has guided him to earn so much wealth and on some occasion when they three meet together even mayor wolfsheim has good opinions about jay gatsby and he tells that he is very friendly to jay gatsby and he is the one who brought him into uh, such a financial status of wealthy wealthy man but even this relationship is hollow we see this at the end when jay gatsby dies the so called friend i i put it the i put the word into highlight 
the so called friend mayor wolfsheim doesn't turn up for the funeral of this old man so this is how we see the hollowness in this relation and the other very saddening part of this novel is that all the people who were attending the parties and who were entertaining themselves in the parties of jay gatsby's uh, they also none of them came to attend the funeral of the man who gave them such happy moments in life so this also shows hollowness of relations how people love a person in those times how people loved a person only on basis of money and material wealth once he loses the money there's no go, nobody who is going to come to them but there is only one objection or one um, exceptional case in this particular novel for the which opposes hollowness in relationship is that between nick and j gatsby their relationship is not hollow one nick from the moment j gatsby tries to make friendship with nick caraway nick caraway is also equally responsive in his friendship towards this man j gatsby and he has carried out all the responsibilities as a good friend to j gatsby so here is one man who is not uh, trapped in the circle of these hypocrites who are making money out of wrong ways and who are claiming themselves to be great by just stating their economic um uh, prosperity but nick caraway is a really good character who maintains friendships to their deepest extent so nick caraway is one exceptional case for this theme of hollowness in humans and hollowness in relations otherwise all the all important characters are hollow in themselves the third important theme is that of class distinction now this is also a very important thing in this novel we need to consider and in fact it is this which leads to the pursuit of american dream in some of the characters in this novel we see discrimination happening in all the parts of the world in one or the other way there there might be class discrimination somewhere there might be racial discrimination and there might be caste discrimination as in as we have it in india during those times there was lot of class distinction made discrimination made among the americans the rich people did not allow their daughters to marry a man from a middle class or a, mid, a lower middle class family but the feelings were true the love relations were true so just in order to achieve that marriage most of the youngsters during those times resorted to wrong ways to earn money the same thing happens in case of um j gatsby when he was a young man j gatsby was in love with daisy when he was working in the us army during the world war and they have a courtship for some some time and even after some days daisy waits for j gatsby to become rich and come as a suitor to her but unfortunately j gatsby is unable to overcome the status of being a poor class or from a lower middle class and that is how he fails to get the hand of daisy in marriage and daisy who was a rich woman marries tom just because their class economic class matches and this becomes a reason for j gatsby to somehow pursue the american dream to somehow pursue um the dream of becoming a rich man no matter what are the ways he um uh, takes on so this class discrimination becomes the reason for all the corrupt ways which lead to economic prosperity of a man but unfortunately even after becoming rich j is unable to get his lover daisy so class discrimination is a very important theme in this particular 
novel which leads to disruption of relations and unhappy marriages i said unhappy marriages because there is also another uh, another incident where this class discrimination play is playing a great role marty wilson wants to become rich and she knows that she has married a poor man called george wilson but she wants to become rich and that is why she has a love affair with tom buchanan in order to enjoy the material pleasures in order to be considered as a rich man's mistress so this class discrimination was very deeply rooted in the minds of the people and in the characters of this particular novel and how the rich people make a huge show off and showcase of their money and wealth by throwing lavish unnecessary lavish parties luxurious parties unnecessary consumerism and yes consumerism is also a part of this particular culture 1920s roaring 20s uh or full of consumerist culture they just made purchases no matter whether they really needed that particular item or not so this these are the things that show the relevance of class discrimination in the in the society of america in those times and the other important theme is that of love and marriage so these are two very clearly distinct themes here in this particular novel you are not sure whether the marriage is based on love or not love is separate and marriage is separate so two things actually they should be going together but these two things are taken as separate entities by the characters in this novel because for daisy love is different love is for gatsby and marriage is with tom it is the, the marriage is mostly looked like an obligation which has to be continued mandatorily no matter how many extramarital affairs they have just for their for the sake of their love or attraction so that is one example here and another love triangle is here explained that is tom buchanan wilson and mertel so here also it is the same case whether mertel is happy in the marriage with george wilson no she is not happy but it is an obligation which she has to continue and this becomes a major distinction of indian and western culture for in india it is not it is not so most of the times it is not so love and marriage should go together and that is considered as a social standard but in the western society in especially those times of 1920s which were times of decadence marriage and love were totally separate entities that is what is seen in the discussion of these characters especially tom and daisy and daisy and gatsby and tom and george wilson and george wilson and mertel wilson and mertel and tom so love and marriage are two separate things as considered by characters in this particular novel and then the other theme important although not very important but yes it is important is victimization how some people become victims of the aristocratic society unfortunately mertel wilson is becomes a victim here um she was trying to become rich man's mistress but unfortunately she dies in an accident we can't call it a real victimization but when it comes to george wilson and gray get uh, sorry j gets me they are really victimized by someone who was aristocratic tom buchanan so tom buchanan making use of his money and influence tries to re- take revenge on j gets me just because j gets me by becoming rich he was trying to get hold of tom's wife and poor fellow george wilson is made to commit a murder and then he also dies so victimization so and who is the main um role player behind all these victimization things is tom buchanan who happens to be a rich man so this also shows that how 
by money they can influence people and they can uh, change the situations and make someone a victim of something so how the poor people as well as the rich people who were true to their feelings were victimized by hypocrites and rich aristocrats who wanted their status to be permanent one in the society and then the sixth theme that is important not i would not say it is very important but yes when it comes to the discussion of jay gatsby it is important that is the impossibility of recapturing and repairing the past no matter how how rich you are today you can't go back to the past and repair the events that have happened wrong in the past now the same thing is happening in the life of uh, jay gatsby he could not propose and marry his lover daisy in his youth when he was working in the us army and she is now married to tom buchanan and now after becoming rich he is trying to change the past he is trying to get back his girlfriend even though he knows that she is already married to a man so this shows impossibility and ultimately does he succeed in that no so impossibility of recapturing and repairing the past so the past is already gone you can't really go back and repair it but this was another illusion that the people had people like jay gatsby had with the power of money and influence they can change the events that have happened in the past so he tries to confess his feelings to daisy buchanan once again and when daisy agrees she also accepts and reciprocates to the love feelings of jay gatsby but it is impossible to uh, have a marriage between jay gatsby and uh, daisy buchanan so this shows the limitations of human life no matter how influential how powerful you are but some things are not in your hand and this was not realized earlier by the people like gatsby and such people went on to doom themselves into tragedy so it is this mad pursuit of trying to change the past itself which um, brings a doom to the life of Ga- uh, sorry jay gatsby so he tries to change the past and try to bring back his girlfriend in his life but it is not possible in fact he invites trouble on himself and ultimately he has to uh, give his life so these are the important themes that i could find out in the novel the great gatsby in the next lecture we will be discussing in brief about the analysis of the plot and the text so after that the novel the discussion on the novel the great gatsby will be completed thank you so much